What's going on guys? Lawson here. It is early in the morning. We're just going to see if we can get on a good top water bite. Then we're going to roll with the day. If the fish seem to be eating artificial as well, we're going to keep throwing artificial. If not, we may break down and throw and catch some live mullet. But for now, the deal is top water to see if we can hook some good ones on top early in the morning. Then we're just going to roll with the day. That is the plan. Oh gosh, dude, that thing was barely, what the heck, I didn't even feel that fish eat, my top water just went underneath the water. That was the babiest hit I've ever received from a snook on a top water, I think. <laughs> this fish is so weird. He's like trying to leap out of the water, but when he leaps out, he doesn't like shake. He just kind of like jumping out like a little pencil. First fish of the morning right there, beautiful little snook on that top water. I barely even felt this guy hook. We're gonna get him back in the water. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. There he goes. There's a little snook. <laughs> it's probably about the same size as the last one, if not smaller. Gosh, that is a little guy. Oh gosh. All right, well, there he goes. I almost got a spook into the eyeballs right there. Oh my God. <laughs> I was working that so quick along those pilings and he just hammered it. <laughs> Gosh, there's fish going off right now. Beautiful or what? Third snook of the morning right there. He is a long and skinny one. I was ripping that top water across the top because I thought I was gonna get snagged on a piling. He ate it coming around a piling. That's beautiful. There's mullet going off, so we're not gonna take much time. Talk about it and keep throwing. There he goes. All right, I put on a little voodoo mullet right here. So I'm just gonna kind of rip through these mullet schools because there's just mullet everywhere. And I think there's tarpon and snook and jack. I'm sure just a little bit of everything in here just ripping up on them. But we're gonna throw just a little finger mullet. And the idea is that they'll see this little finger mullet. Like, look at that. This is amazing. The idea is that they'll see this little finger mullet within all these kind of bigger mullet and be like, oh dude, that little sucker's done. Second it landed up in there. No, it's funny too. I was literally just about to take this lure off. Oh, Ooh, there he goes. That was a tarpon snook, actually. Oh, another one, dude. Back to back. little tarpon snook right there you can see how weird his mouth is I mean this has been an insane morning that is my fifth snook and it's only like 7 30 it's crazy all right while there's all this mold around I'm gonna take a second just throw the cast net once or twice and try to get a good amount of mullet just to take advantage of how many there are right now and I'll use them either right now or maybe I'll use them later in the day but 
there's no point to not throw the net right now, honestly. <laughs> Here's the game plan. We're gonna let this big ham sandwich float out the back while I continue to throw an artificial and work the dock line. It is extremely windy, so that's always a huge pain in the butt. But we'll see what happens. I mean, all of these mullet are just freaking gigantic. And it kind of makes sense why, you know, I'm not seeing a ton of eating. They're getting fired on, but I think it's pretty hard for fish to eat mullet this big in one swing. But I think uh, we'll see if Bigan gets picked up on the back line. And I'll just keep working hard fish. Uh-oh. My mullet might just got hit. It is a huge mullet, so... He may have just woken up or he may have just got whacked by something really quick or I don't know what's going on. Oh no, he's getting hit by something right now. Something very big was trying to eat this mullet. Oh, God, what is going on? Oh, I have whatever. I take it back. Not something very big. Something very catfish like, shark like. I can't tell what's on here. Oh, the bluefish. That's literally doing nothing. Dude, you're like the weakest, wimpiest bluefish I've ever caught in my life. All right, that was pretty cool. I'll give him that. <laughs> now he's waking up. I don't think he even realized he was hooked, to be honest. My drag's really not all that tight. I'm playing this fish. <laughs> Boat flip a biggin on the swim bait rod. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> he thought about it though. Oh, there he goes. Thanks for helping me out, buddy. All right, nice Florida bluefish right there on the live mullet. We we're dropping out the back. Oh, buddy. All right, we're gonna release him. <laughs> There you go. Well, to be honest, I kind of figured whatever was going to pick that mold up, it was either going to be a massive snook or a jack or something with teeth like a shark or bluefish. But that was a nice bluefish for Florida for sure. We're going to put another mold out. Oh my God. Get out. Gosh, I can't believe I just got another fish out from underneath that dock. A little tarpon. Nice size tarpon snook right there. There he goes. Just more, it's freaking huge. That's a jack right there. He's got it. I think he's got it. There we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Holy crap. This thing is smoking this reel. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen to that drag peel off. I gotta tighten down on this thing. Oh God, dude. I, I have to hammer this thing. He's about to spool this reel. I can see my backing. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> All right, prepare for the wind, boys. Sorry. <laughs> he almost spooled me. Oh, now we're in for it. Ah. Dude, 
this fish is literally about to school me with my drag hammer with 80 pound braid. It is a nasty day. Oh my god, this thing is a giant. <laughs> Wait till you guys see this freaking fish. Oh my god. It looks like a yellowfin tuna. Okay. Pretty much the stupidest thing I could possibly do. I'm seeing if I can set my camera up while I'm fighting this fish. All right, I know the wind is just awful. It's probably blowing 25, but we're hooked into a tuna, dude. I'm gonna grab my glove here. Oh, please. Please be gentle on my crotch. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get this big boy in. Oh, 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 good God. He makes the ones I caught the other day look like babies. Oh, he just woke up again. Oh, come on. He's just peeling off the freaking spool. God. Come on, buddy. I'm groaning like an old man here, dude, but this thing is so freaking heavy and it won't come up. It's like an inshore yellowfin tuna. Good God. Yeah, baby. Woo! Oh, no, please, dear God, no. It just won't stop running. Oh, he's almost done. Almost done. Never mind. Oh my god. Ah. I've been fighting this thing for 15 minutes. Oh, he's like barely hooked. Good god. Ah. Good god almighty. What is this thing? <laughs> oh, I think we might have broke our new Jack PB. This thing is a monster. Oh my God. I'm gonna see if I can hold him up. I can't barely lift this thing. He's so freaking heavy. Oh, I don't even look at his head. This thing is a freaking submarine. That took me 20 minutes to land this fish. We're gonna get him back in the water. Oh my God. On the tape, he's about 46 inches long. <sighs> Papa Tuna, I got his head, my mouth in his head, mouth. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. I got my hand in his mouth. But we've got him walking into the current right now. It is so rough. Oh, he's getting, he's getting hungry. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Oh my God. That was freaking ridiculous. It was big mo at work, man. I'm sorry I'm yelling. I'm just pumped up and the wind is howling. Holy crap, dude. I think that might be a run for the money on my biggest jack I've ever caught. I'll link that video below, but holy crap. That thing was freaking huge. That's nice. Some guys just drove by and yelled the F word at me for filming a video. Bunch of cool dudes. Anyways, oh, that was awesome. Honestly, I think we might call it there, but holy crap, that was just an insane day. I mean, six snook. None of the snook were really anything special to brag about than a nice sized bluefish on a live mullet and the top off the day with that freaking monster. It's like a yellowfin tuna, dude. Oh, I'm pumped. All right, you guys, that is it, man. I'm done. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Also, these shirts, the uh, official Lost and Lindsay shirts, they are still for sale. So if you guys want to help support me or anything like that, that is the best way to do it. I'll leave the link to the website below to get a shirt. We've got a few different colors, very comfortable shirts, and apparently bring good luck today for sure. But that is it, guys. I really appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed today's video because it was insane. I'm done.
to try to throw my hat at you. I don't even have my hat on. Ah.